The FAA is modernizing our aviation system, moving from voice to text. The movement to a digital communication system creates greater efficiencies in the movement of aircraft, which is resulting in better on-time departures. It really is kind of a game changer. If you compare it to our daily lives, it was almost communication before texting or email. A telephone communication is a great way to do that. But if you had to get a message out to a bunch of folks, playing the telephone game 20 times over is, is very inefficient. And for us to be able to receive our clearances and coordination stuff through this email-like service um, is so much more efficient. It's, it's clear, it's readable. You know, you're trying to read a very lengthy flight plan and they read it back wrong. I have to go back and fix that. And that will take several fixes occasionally. So it is a challenge uh, that Datacom will do away with. How do we create more efficient, time-saving departures? Each flight crew receives route instructions from an air traffic controller prior to pushing back from the gate. The pilot of the voice-only communication plane in red listens to the transmission from the controller, Papa, X-ray, Victor, and then repeats it to make sure he has transcribed everything correctly. Okay, so that'll be the new one radar vectors, dual J6, Danner, Ravine, J64. It often takes multiple voice communications before everything is clear, and the process could take several minutes depending on the complexity of the clearance. Okay, uh, after Newell, it's J60. J60 after Newell. If the weather changes and there are reroutes to deliver, this adds additional time and more voice communication to the process. With the Datacom enabled plane in blue, the controller sends digital route information directly to the plane's Datacom receiver. The pilot simply reads the text display and presses Wilco to accept the new route. Those instructions are loaded directly onto the onboard computer system and sent directly to the airline operations center. This takes only seconds. For each flight, we may be saving a few minutes, but when we start to multiply this process across the daily flight operations, the time savings are significant. In this scenario, while just two voice-only planes have been cleared for takeoff, five Datacom planes are already on their way. As more Datacom planes are cleared for takeoff in seconds versus several minutes, the time savings and departure volume continue to increase. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, ground reroutes. Soon we'll have the ability to do things in flight, you know, uh, basic stuff such as altimetry changes, frequency changes, and eventually we'll move into more complex clearances while we're flying. Next-gen systems work together and are built for our needs today and where our system is headed in the future. Built on the new air traffic control network and integrating with the new real-time GPS-based radar, the next phase of Datacom will provide the ability to make dynamic in-flight changes to avoid weather and find the most fuel-efficient and time-saving routes across the skies. A few years down the road, everything's going to be going through Datacom to make it more efficient. Everybody that I talk to that says, man, we're going to be able to send revised clearances to the flight decks? They love it. They can't wait to get it. Newark is generally the most delayed airport in the country, and a lot of that has to do with the weather. As I've gone through the project and learned more about it and seen it from the industry and the pilot side and the benefit to them, uh, it, it even exceeded my expectations of the, the benefits. This new system is transforming how we communicate flight information. It's improving safety and efficiency, which translates into time and money saved by the airlines and a better experience for the traveling public. When we work together to solve the challenges of traffic and congestion in our busy airspace, we can save fuel, reduce carbon emissions, and increase on-time arrivals and departures. Partnering with the aviation industry, the FAA and NextGen are creating a healthy and sustainable national airspace system.